Um, before we move on to the next panel, we're going to, um, having just picked up on all of this conversation, we're going to give you a unique opportunity to have a little glimpse of the digital future, a, a, a sort of unannounced interlude for you. Uh, so uh, beaming directly into the digital, intergalactic, interplanetary catapult of the future, the avatar form of our future CEO, Kerwin Dite, is joining us from the year 2040. Hello, Kerwin. Are you receiving us? The future appears to be slow in coming. <laughs> but there he is. Kerwin. Hello, everyone. Hello, Jeremy. Hope you're doing well. I'm uh, slightly blown away that you've been able to join us from so far in the future, Kerwin. You, you must be super busy being sort of futuristic and all that kind of thing. Um, what, does, uh, what does 2040 look like? Uh, what's changed? Well, lots has changed. Humans are actually living on the moon now. But sad to tell you that despite some valiant efforts by the Musk family offspring, there still aren't any flying cars. We've been hard at work building the quantum internet, which, as you can imagine, played havoc with everyone's security. But we've got through that now, and we're developing robots that generate new robots to do the jobs the senior robots don't want to do. <laughs> and of course, there are still plenty of challenges. Thanks to climate change legacy, still not gone away. Social inequality is even more extreme. And overall, geopolitical unrest is even worse and more dangerous than it was in your time. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, but I, hopefully some things positive have, have come from all of this. I mean, I, I know the question that will be on the lips of, uh, well, actually many of the catapulters back here in the past is, uh, can you still get an oat milk chai latte? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that is super retro. But yes, of course, <laughs> everyone's pretty much 100% vegan now. It has been an amazing period of progress, despite the challenges. Technology is really helping to make things better. It's been really important to have the right partners with us, of course. We couldn't do it on our own. Oh, really? Well, we've always loved having a good partner at the Digital Catapult. Uh, who are you partnering with right now, Cohen? Well, we have about 250 different partners right now, give or take. Wow, that's, that's almost exactly the same number that we have now. <laughs> but I bet you do even more with them than we did. Is that right? Yeah, well, we call that multi-continuous, point-to-point co-creation with wraparound supportification. Yeah, we, we, we got that name from our sponsors, Innovate on Steroids for the Nation UK. It's part of our new GFA. Innovate on Steroids for the Nation UK. Wow, that really is progress. And yet, somehow, so traditional. Fantastic. Yeah, the pace has really picked up from the decade you oversaw, Jeremy we played a pivotal role as the UK rapidly evolved. Your vision of a green digital future helps put us on the right track. So we have a lot to thank you for. Well, we get it right once in a while. Uh, what else can we tell you? What else can you tell us about the future? Well, smartphones have evolved beyond our wireless imagination in some neural interfaces. We can control most things directly with our brains. Never mind about trying to text with one hand while driving a car with another. You just have to think it now. We do have to watch the auto brain correct, though, or you can end up sending something you just wanted to keep as thoughts. And of course, the evolution of VR and AR means that holographic avatars, like mine, are commonplace. The list is almost endless. So, so, so hold on. You mean we're not actually talking to you directly? We're, we're talking with your avatar tonight, who I suppose is probably talking to your 249 other partners at the same time. Uh, what else can this version of, uh, of a human do that we can't do at the moment? Well, humans still struggle a bit with that whole space-time continuum thing, but avatars manage it just fine. So let me show you. Even my virtual avatar likes to take a break and unwind every now and then. Here, I can have some peace and quiet. And have you ever felt like you needed to be in two places at once? Well, that is now a reality. Oh my goodness, the quantum promise has finally come true. Listen, Kerwin, thank you so much for joining us all the way from the digital intergalactic interplanetary catapult in 2040. I think they may have to think about the acronym for that, <laughs> but never mind. Uh, thank you, Kerwin. Yeah, yeah well, I think we need to give that a bit some thought, but goodbye, Jeremy, and 
Thank you for having me. Goodbye, everyone. I hope you have an enjoyable evening. Take care. <laughs>